I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to our channel, Agla Sim Schools. Today, in this video, I will be covering Chapter Twenty Two of Class Five of Environmental Studies, that is, On the Move Again. So let's discuss question and answers. Now turn to page number two hundred and one. Till question number one says, Did all the farmers in Dhanu's village have their own land? Answer is no. Only some of the farmers in Dhanu's village have their own land. Some of the farmers work on the land of big farmers. Further, question number two says, During what time of the year did Dhanu's family get work in the village? During what time did they have no work? Answer is, Dhanu's family gets work from before the rainy season till the shera. During the remaining six months, when there is no rain, they do not get work. For the question number three says, did you know any families like Dhanus who have to leave their villages for months in search of work? Answer is yes. I know of many families who have left their villages for months in search of work. Now think and find out. Question number one says, if people in Dhanus village did not leave the village in search of work, what difficulties would they face in their own village? Answer is, if people in Dhanu's village did not leave the village in search of work, they would face many difficulties. They would not be able to earn enough money to meet even their basic needs like food and clothes. They will not be in a position to afford cost of education for their children. Further, question number two says, in Dhanu's village, there can be no farming when there is no rain. Do you think farming can be done? Even without rainwater, and how? Answer is yes. Farming can also be done without rainwater. New methods of irrigation can be used to provide the required water to crops. Canals, tube wells, or rahats can be used for irrigating the field. Now turn to page number two hundred and two. Think. Question number one says: Dhanu's family and many other from the village go far away to work. But some people stay back in the village. Why does this happen? Answer is some people need to stay in the village so that they can protect the houses and cattle. They are also needed to take care of elderly people who prefer to stay back in the village. Second question says when Dhanu and other children leave the village for six months, what happens to the village school? Answer is when Dhanu and other children leave the village for six months. The village school gets students from the families of big farmers only. Further, question number three says, "What arrangements are made at your home for old and unwell family members when everyone goes for work?" Answer is, "In my home, ladies do not go to work; they stay back and take care of elderly and unwell family members." Further, turn to page number two hundred and four. Think and tell. Question number one says. Why did Mummy wish that Dhanu could go to school for the whole year and study? Answer is, Mummy wanted Dhanu to study well and get a good job so that he could work independently. Mummy wished Dhanu to become a rich person and earn a good reputation in society. Mummy did not want Dhanu to suffer like his family members. Hence, Mummy wished Dhanu should go to school. Further, question number two says. What happens when you are not able to go to school for a long time? Answer is when I am not able to go to school for a long time, I find it difficult to cope with advanced lessons. Now discuss and write. Question number one says then who has to go with village people to the other place? Can there be some arrangements during that time so that Danu continues his studies? What kind of arrangement? Answer is yes. Dhanu can be enrolled in the school in the new town. He can also look for evening schools. Further, question number two says, "Do you know of any jobs or work for which people have to stay away from their families for many months? Look for example from this book and write." Answer is first jobs in armed forces, second jobs in merchant navy, third studying in a boarding school, fourth. Overseas assignments. Now, question number three says, "What are the similarities and differences in the lives of different kind of farmers?" 
So the answer is first let's talk about similarities. One most of the farmers are fully dependent on farming or for their livelihood. Second all the family members are engaged in farming. Third they are dependent on rains for irrigation. Fourth most of them are illiterate. Fifth they use primitive methods of farming. Now let's talk about differences. First some farmers have their own land. Second, less number of family members are engaged in farming. Third, some farmers are literate. Fourth, some farmers use moderate farm equipment. So guys, I have covered all the questions of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the questions discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCRT solutions, Keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Agla Sim Schools and do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health.